Welcome to the 2022 Unity Beginners course. This is episode 8 and I will talk about syntax conventions in coding as well as some tips when coding with Unity. The following conventions can be applied to code outside of Unity. You should pick a coding style that you are comfortable with but also easily readable by other programmers. Let's start with naming conventions. Names in programs cannot contain space characters. In C Sharp and most C like languages, we append all the words together and capitalize the first character of each word, resulting in a name like this. You can also use underscores to separate words. This approach is usually used in Python, but I find it less efficient to type. I do not recommend using underscores for word separation, as the resulting name will become very long in the inspector. We usually name variables with the first character in lower case. For class names and function names, the first character should be capitalized instead. The next convention is about brackets. Curly brackets are widely used to group namespaces, classes, functions, and statements. The placement of these brackets are based on your preference. Some programmers prefer to put them in a new line like this, while others, like me, prefer to place them at the end of the first line. It is purely based on your own preference. Another tip is to reduce the number of brackets whenever possible. For if else statements, if there is only a single line of code inside, then I will not add curly brackets at all. This simplifies the code and makes it easy to read. Still, it is all about your coding style. There is a feature in Unity C Sharp that allows you to add headers. Headers will appear in the inspector and help you categorize variables. To use headers, simply add this line above the variable. Note the headers will not appear if you add them right above private variables. Another feature is the range attribute. For number variables like integers and float values, we can specify the range using this line. When this attribute is added, the corresponding variable field in the inspector will become a slider instead of an input field limiting the value of the variable. And these are some tips and conventions when coding with Unity. I hope your code becomes better with these tips I've mentioned. This is episode 8 of the 2022 Unity Beginners course. I am Yellow Flicker and I will see you in the next episode. Stay tuned!